whoops this is the new Wilson Swift 1.5 clay tennis shoe this shoe is my choice for this season and I've already played in these shoes about 15 matches 15 real competition matches about I believe eight singles and seven doubles guys that's a lot and these ultra lightweight tennis shoes they still hold really well especially the outsole looks like it's intact just a slightly bit so guys in today's review we will take a closer look at this ultra lightweight tennis shoe from Wilson so stay tuned for more John McEnroe Hello tennis guys and welcome to my channel so another tennis shoe review and it's Wilson once again my favorite brand maybe in the last couple of years and you might be thinking where are the Lotto Raptor tennis shoes well I sold them because they were too heavy for my competition play I played few hours in those shoes and I decided to pass them because you know when you play in a shoe that is over 400 gram heavy in the size 10 and a half I believe it's in 10 and a half UK yeah UK 10 and a half European size 45 and one third Japan 29 centimeters so when you play with a tennis shoe that is over 400 gram and you are light as me I'm 67 68 kilos right now 186 centimeters tall I need lighter shoe because when I play two competition matches a day in a day it means I play singles and then I play doubles I don't uh, I can't I can't uh, let's say exhaust myself too much because I will probably spend every competition day about three to four hours on the court and recently even I played my longest match and thanks to these shoes I was able to let's say survive the match which was three hours 44 minutes the longest match I've ever played and I'm 39 years old I have plenty of experience I've played plenty of long matches but nothing nothing was let's say uh, like this three hours 44 minutes best of three sets I eventually lost seven six in the third set seven five in a tie break but it was a hell of a match and these shoes helped me to stay in the match to move really well until the very end of the match I got a little bit cramps on to my legs but nothing really what what let's say cause the the overall outcome that I lost eventually so these shoes are great for someone who wants to move quickly who wants to accelerate very well and uh, what, what is surprising is that these shoes are also very stable thanks to the outsole which is wider at this position so the stability is actually not an issue maybe the inner stability but not the stability as as you know as you know uh, when you move on the court 
but if you are a heavier guy let's say 80 kilos maybe you will need a heavier and more stable and more padded shoe inside so guys uh, I've been playing in this shoe my previous two seasons and you can see they are really similar because these are also the Wilson Swift shoes this was the first generation and now it's called 1.5 so another generation and look at these they are really similar similar outsole similar let's say technologies there are just slightly differences in the design and the design for these shoes has been revamped so the overall durability is better because when you look at the older model there were some issues outside of the shoe so for example here you can see that it tore a little bit and once again inside of the shoe it tore a little bit here and this part wasn't really well positioned and if you take a closer look at the new generation you can see that they they made these changes so now you can see that the inner part is more covered let's say the part where you slide i will try to show it as you can see hey hold hold still so this part is more covered with this rubberized material and it's better positioned towards more here where you slide you can see exactly where the clay has landed uh, when i slide okay and it is reinforced also with this material around and it is reinforced also in this place in this position where it tore where it normal where, where it normally tears and when you turn the shoe you can see that also the part here which tore which was torn here is now reinforced right here up here okay so this whole part is reinforced with the extra layer which is also rubberized it's an improved version of the previous shoe and if you want to uh, know the weight these shoes in the size uk 10 and a half which is which is european 45 and one third as wilson is doing this kind of uh, sizing and japan it is 29 so this shoe weighs just about 330 gram it's one of the lightest shoes on the market and if you compare the weight to the a6 cord ff shoes the ff3s and ff2s used by novak djokovic this shoe is 100 gram lighter because when you lift a 100 gram heavier shoe maybe you do about 8,000 steps during the match or 10,000 steps during the match so it means you need to lift the shoe and when it is 100 gram heavier it means when you make those 10,000 lifts with your one foot it can actually translate into one ton i believe correct me if i'm wrong but it can be a one extra ton okay maybe i'm wrong i'm counting it wrong but i think it is correct 100 gram 10 10 000 steps it means it's one million gram and one million gram is one ton okay so i hope it is correct i will i will eventually correct it in the video because i'm not good at math but anyway so if you are a nimble guy a fast guy like i am you need an ultra lightweight shoe and these are really great so the upper is meshy the shoe is well padded inside the tongue is interesting it looks like this so that's a uh, one thing let's say ergonomical thing they made the tongue is very thin but actually it works i don't feel any pain uh, 
when we look at the lacing system, it's it's quite common nowadays that the lacing system looks like this. So the holes or the eyes for the laces they go through inside not throughout the whole material but just inside through these eyes you might be thinking that it can eventually break but it never happened to me also in some of the older shoes maybe for someone and also for me the biggest let's say negative of these shoes is that they are not so deep inside so you don't really feel that much locked in so your ankle is kind of uh, more let's say opened or or more visible but the good thing is that it actually allows you to feel more free in those shoes and once again when we are a light guy you are running a lot around the court it can be actually beneficial uh, the insole is or to light insole um, it's quite thin nothing really special it's an ortholite let's say premium insole but I know that some of the other shoe brands they make a little bit better and a little bit better uh, thicker insoles but this is a lightweight shoe so don't expect some kind of ultra comfort in those shoes the comfort is just okay and for me it's I believe it's actually perfect uh, the negative for the lacing system is that I would I would like to see an extra hole for a lace right here because I'm usually using all of the holes and they are there are just I believe five of them one two three four five five holes for laces it's not much uh, most of the shoes have six or seven holes and I like to really tight tighten up the shoes so I can feel uh, snug and secure on those shoes um, the thread it's an herringbone pattern with this super huge gap here this is the true motion technology that makes the shoe super lightweight but also very flexible as you can see the shoe is really nicely flexible and once again uh, it's a lightweight shoe it should be flexible like that because you actually want that when you want a lightweight shoe um, another thing the design it's it's really good it's really good I, I think it's one of those nicest looking tennis shoes on the market right now look at that the Wilson is here the Wilson small logo is there uh, it's better than with the previous generation I believe when you look at that there was the Wilson just there no sign of Wilson here there were these chunks of extra padding but they are they were like for no use I believe just for these aesthetics and maybe for some sliding where we were sliding like this but they got rid of them and they made it without it so guys really nice nicely looking tennis shoe uh, the Dural, the Dural last rubber, which is a premium rubber, look at that. After about 15 competition matches, the shoe looks really still like new, like new. So great, great, great. Uh, the dampening, or let's say the, the dampening foam in the midsection, it's the RDST Plus. So it's the premium foam, as you can see. Uh, the back of the shoe looks like you are on a pillow let's say it's very it's very high it looks like a sports car so if you like these type of shoes just grab them it's it's a fantastic shoe and there you can see from behind where where inside of the of the shoe here where where's the outsole there is a more material because it gets brushed it gets damaged more and also the pattern is ver variable and there the the thread the thread or the the herringbone patterns are deeper and there they are more shallow so you know you are sliding most of the time and you are uh the, the, the traction comes from this part when you are running forwards and when you are breaking then the energy is transferred from this part to this part 
and this part is not so aggressive as this part of the shoe and also it's for the back part of the outsole uh, yeah really nice there is the, the design of the lacing so it's the it, it looks like the asymmetrical lacing system so the overall fit is great and one more thing one of you in the comments when i was reviewing the previous generation the swift a shoe from wilson pointed out that the wilson tennis shoes are designed actually by salomon so if you are a fan of salomon running shoes you will love the design and the structure and you will feel really great in the wilson shoes and yeah i fell in love in for for the wilson shoes a couple of years ago and i'm still using them and i will be probably using them but also i will be testing another shoe uh, on another shoes trying other shoes like the diadora they are also great so guys let me know in the comments what do you think about these shoe are you familiar with wilson tennis shoes or do you know wilson just for their tennis rackets and tennis balls for example uh, i can't recommend enough wilson tennis shoes they are so comfy so so greatly manufactured with the attention to detail the materials used are really premium and i believe the price is really nice for this type of shoe shoes compared to the competition you know the price for the shoes is getting higher and higher insanely high so yeah i believe wilson is still kind of maintaining the good price point ratio the price point ratio between the performance and the overall price so guys this was my review for the new wilson uh, swift 1.5 clay shoe they have a couple of other versions like the rapida version and this is more bulky more reinforced it's it looks similar but it has some extra features for more ruggedness and for more durability so guys uh, as always you can support my channel by buying me a coffee clicking the super thanks button and also sending me some of your love through the paypal which is an option and you can ask me a question through those platforms and i will answer it as best as i can because if you donate me something i owe you actually and i will give you it back through my answer so guys thank you for watching and as always enjoy tennis play tennis every time every day and don't forget to enjoy the new world bye guys you can't be serious man you cannot be serious that ball was on the line